Hi everybody, today I am here to answer the question, what is the impact of dementia on the caregiving spouse or even on adult children with a parent who has dementia? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there are a lot of hope, help, and support for caregivers and aging adults. Please like this video, follow it on YouTube so that other people in a similar situation as a caregiver or an aging adult can find the help that they need. So early on with married couples, if there is a diagnosis of memory loss, there may not be a huge change in that marital situation. Many married couples that I work with look back and they think, wow, how could we have possibly noticed that there was a diagnosis of dementia or my spouse had Alzheimer's years before this happened? Because there is research out there that shows that there are little signs of dementia and memory loss and Alzheimer's 5, 10, 15, 20 years before a diagnosis sometimes. And so there are times when couples think, wow, how did we miss this? Well, let me share an example of how that happens. Couple that I was working with, the wife had a routine every month where she would do a newsletter for a community group. She would write it and type it up and do the research and email it out. And over time, her husband noticed that she was having a little more difficulty with the keyboard and using the computer and coming up with things to write and proofreading and all of that. And he started helping her. But eventually she said, you know, this is just, it's, it's too hard. I, I don't like it anymore. I'm just going to give it up. Things like that. Any type of change in a routine or a habit or a hobby that someone used to do that for some reason becomes more difficult or they stop or they lack interest in can be a sign that something is going on. Now, it could be a health problem, could be memory loss, you don't know. But until you start talking about the whys and investigate it and maybe go to the doctor and have a memory test done, you really won't know. So at the point that you do go to the doctor and have memory testing, maybe see a neurologist, have a neuropsychology appointment to find out how that memory loss is affecting your loved one and how it's going to progress and how it's going to affect you and your marriage and your family. Very, very important because there's going to be a point where you as the healthy spouse are going to have to do everything. So in most marriages, the husband does these things, the wife does these things, and maybe it's, you know, the wife takes care of the kids, the husband pays the bills and does the maintenance on the cars and makes sure that the house is taken care of. And then all of a sudden one day, the person with dementia starts not being able to do those things. And so the healthy spouse, it's important for them to learn how to pay the bills and where the financial accounts are and what type of home maintenance is done every year. And to even consider, well, is this house going to be too much for me to take care of? Should we move to a different setting so that as my husband or wife needs more care, there's less to worry about with the house and life is a little easier on the caregiver? These are all things that we don't think to talk about when a memory loss diagnosis happens because mostly we don't know what to expect. We don't know how this memory loss up here is going to change the abilities of our loved one and how it's going to change our life as that spousal caregiver. There may be a point where you bring caregivers into the home or where you look at placing your husband or wife in a memory care community because you simply can't do it all. Caregivers want to do it all and they feel a duty and a responsibility, especially to a spouse to be that caregiver, but there are downsides. So from a very practical standpoint, the healthy spouse or the caregiving spouse should remain dedicated, and I do mean dedicated, to your self-care, your social life, all the things that you do to take care of yourself, because research out there shows that caregivers become sicker than the persons for whom they care for. Many caregiving spouses die before the spouse that they're caring for because of the stress, the emotional stress, the physical stress, the health problems that you acquire because you're not going to the doctor for checkups and you're not exercising and having time for you. As that spouse, it's very easy to want to do everything for a loved one, but you shouldn't. And here's why. For people with memory loss, they 
benefit from having a routine, things that they do every day. So let's say that it takes you 10 minutes to pop in and out of the shower, and it takes your loved one an hour. What difference does it make? They're doing something for themselves. They're feeling like they still have a purpose and something to do, and they're enhancing their well-being. So as caregivers, we get rushed. We think everything has to be done a certain way, and it has to be done now. Well, with someone with dementia, it really doesn't. If it takes them an hour to eat and you eat in five minutes, let them enjoy their meal. Let them sit and do that. That's important for them. You have different needs, which is why as a caregiver, you do need to understand that you need a break, that you are going to get frustrated and angry and impatient with a loved one who has memory loss and who does things a lot slower than you do. The impact of dementia on a caregiving spouse is significant. It can definitely result in a closer and a more loving relationship, but on the other hand, it can result in stress and you having more health problems and being burned out and run down. So the best advice for all of this is if you see any significant changes in a spouse, investigate the health problem. Find out if it is memory loss. Learn what steps you will take as this disease progresses. Learn about Alzheimer's and dementia, how you can respond. Take an online caregiving course, join a support group, consult a caregiving expert about how to plan so that you can talk about it with your spouse when you can still have those conversations. You can talk about it with your children so that you have a plan for what happens when this gets worse. Because all throughout this journey, and for some people, Alzheimer's is a long journey. It's 10, 15, 20 years. It's much longer than you ever think it might be. You will be grieving the loss of your marriage and your partnership and all the things that you used to do together as a couple that eventually you won't be able to do as a couple, which is why maintaining your social circle and your self-care and your life is important because your life will go on after your spouse with Alzheimer's or dementia passes away. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there, a lot of hope, help, and support. My caregiving blog, my library, my book, ways to schedule one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, my weekly podcast, The Caring Generation. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you all again soon in another video.